main point, the principal point that makes the light keep inside cool. It contains a material has a lower index of, you must have been heard about uh, index of refraction, velocity of the light uh, with, the, with the ratio of the velocity in, in, in a medium uh, as well as in, in air. So this lighting will help to keep the light inside cool. And buffer coating plastic is to support an optical fiber. It's just like a jacket. This construction that, that I explained just now, you can see fiber optics. This fiber cool. It means the center of the fiber. Here there will be reflection. Now I will I will explain what kind of reflection will be. Because I said at the first in our communication or in our application we are using signals it's mean light light it's mean electromagnetic waves these electromagnetic waves has a two two components electron and magnetic which are normal on each others so i have to deal with them as they lose just like reflection here, if I want to send a light from one medium to another medium, from one medium of specific refractive index to another medium of less re refractive index, what kind of phenomena will be? The exit angle will be greater than the, exit, the incident angle. This is what we are called uh, reflection or internal reflection. But fiber optics does not work with the internal reflection only. It's work with the total internal reflection. So, when this exit angle, a single mode fibers, while those who are support many propagation path, we're called multi mood fibers. It's according to the propagation path. And so optical fiber can be made of plastic as I mentioned at the first time. But we are, it's commonly used the glass one. It's mean silica. Now, as I mentioned at the first, we'll use an optical fiber to transmit the light by the concept of total internal reflection. There will be so many reflections inside an optical fiber. There will be bending, there will be attenuation, there will be losing in the optical energy. But at the first time, there will be sending and receiving of the information by the concept of total, inform, total internal reflection. You can see here how the total internal reflection takes place. You can check out on the screen, see when the sun ray exits on one point, it will ref reflect and again reflect and again reflect and again reflect until they out from the end of the optical fiber. By using these reflections, there will be absorption of the optical energy. This absorption, due to the impurities, just like a copper, iron, man manufacturing of an optical fiber. This is the reflection that I explained, total internal reflection. By this concept, an optical fiber will transmit a light through one point to another point. Now, we have a concept, it's dense waves are then conducted to the inside of scientific silica or quartz tube. Why we are sending that gas vapor? Now we'll come to, to inside a burner. The extreme heat by using that burner from the torch causes two things to happen. The first one, the silicon and germanium react with the oxygen, forming a silicon dioxide, SiO2, and germanium dioxide, GeO2. The silicon dioxide and germanium dioxide deposit on the inside of the tube and fuse together to form the glass of the anoptical fiber. Now, the, te the testing of the optical fiber will be the first one on the efficiency of an optical fiber. Everything we can make 
And the final step, we have to test it. We have to test its work. Just like attenuation. Attenuation means loses in optical, optical energy during some impurities inside an optical fiber. And also information carrying capacity. How much information I can carry by using an optical fiber. And then the operating and temperature and attenuation and ability to contact the light under water. It's mean inside water. It's mean some. It is 62.5. Firstly, we'll, we'll decide the capacity of the fiber according to the types of the fiber. Okay. This is basic things. Oh. Multimode fibers uh, are common or widely used in uh, short distance communication links and whenever high power to be transmitted. This is multimode fibers. And single mode fibers are used whenever limited distances must be transmitted through the information. Just like uh, 1,000 1, meters. Just like uh, nearly about uh, 3,000 feet, something, something like that. Without a repeater or amplifier? No, definitely there will be amplifier. Because if I want to transmit a light using an optical fiber from one point, to, from one point, for example, from here to another city, just like Najaf or Babylon, if I want to send information, that information that I will send, it will obey the attenuation that I mentioned at the first. This attenuation there will be loose in the optical energy. So how I will avoid such a, such a things? We will avoid such a thing by using modulation, mentions, demodulation, amplification. Three processes in each specific place. What modulation, distance? demodulation, amplification. What the distance you put the uh, meter or amplifier to optical fiber? It, it, it depends on the optical fiber types. From uh, Najaf Babylon. From Najaf Babylon, it just like we can say on. Uh, by multi? Two. By multi? Two. 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 It's nearby two. If we are using multi mode fiber. Uh, we can transmit uh, uh, 116 gigahertz. 116 gigahertz. From here to Babylon? Yeah. In multi mode? In multi mode? Maybe we can. But in single mode, we cannot. Yeah. What is the type of uh, light? We use in the By using laser, for example. Laser. Light amplification simulated emission. The element of OH in uh, optical fiber. Yes. Uh, absorb laser or not? OH. OH. By manufacture. Definitely there will be absorption of the optical energy during the tiny impurities. Just like <coughs> we are using Cooper or iron, there will be absorption of energy. Definitely.